So, hey there, Droy here, and welcome to Dotto Games Train Mod 2. Yesterday, we saw the release of the DBBR363 locomotive for Train Sim World, a, a well, loco that runs in Train Sim World on the Ruris Ignored. And so, uh, today, I thought we'd take a look at the train, take a look at the routes, and see how it all uh, comes together today. But first things first, a quick look at the uh, trailer for your new loco. So, not bad, eh? Yes, yeah, so the DBBR363, it's a shunting locomotive built in the 1950s. 942 of these were built in total from eight different manufacturers, and before classification was known as the, uh, well, DBB class V60. So there, there's, what, eight, eight different variants, eight different manufacturers. Over the years, they kind of mixed and matched. They're like 316 heavy nominated locos as well, which would carry higher weight loads. And uh, yes, it's got a it's got a long history. It's got a, a very long history as a loco. So uh, yeah, well, that's it. we'll go through more of the history as we go into the routes. But first things first, let's jump into not the scenarios, but the training. Let's actually learn how to use the loco because, as always, this is the uh, well, it's the first reaction for it. First time using it, therefore, let's learn the basics, learn how to drive the loco, and then we'll uh, take the train for a ride today. So back in the uh, Reiner Nord route, which was a personal favourite of mine, one of my favourites out in Germany. And uh yeah, it's again it's a lot of fun to be back in some of these more these more classic German maps. So there we go, the BR three six three introduction. Welcome to driver training here at Hagen Yard. Today you will be learning to drive this BR363 diesel locomotive in DB Raylion livery. This brief introduction will cover train preparation, critical driving controls and freight operations. Climb aboard to get started. Right, so let's uh, jump into the loco. Let's take it for a spin, shall we? Got the steps. Head to the... well the cab is there. Hang on, <laughs> I've got my own way around this train. I uh, load a coupling arm, that's fine. There we go. Jump up the stairs. Take a seat in the driver's position. This is where you'll be spending most of your time. There we go. It's an interesting journey up the train. So I have to climb up the slides, kind of straddle along the uh, edge there, and then crawl into the door. Very nice. <laughs> right, take a seat, let's get going. To activate the control desk, set the master key. Master key sets. To allow fuel to flow to the engines, the fuel pump switch must be set. Fuel pumps set. To start the engines, set the engine start switch to the indicated position. So move you forwards to pressed. To engage the hydraulic drive, the power switch must be activated. There we go. Power on. Press the changeover button to set this as the active throttle control. Press changeover. So lights come on. Active control. The Thank you very much. Is used to set the direction of travel. Ah, that's an interesting reverse of that. So switch you to forwards. Now release the parking brake. Over here, release the parking brake. Of course, we a, a giant wheel. There we go. To release the train air brakes, set the driver's brake valve to the driving position. 
Drakes to brakes to driving. Brakes released. For this introduction, you will be performing shunting duties around Hagen Yard and forming a train. This train is now ready for operation. The throttle on the locomotive is a little unusual. Push the control into the forward position to accelerate faster, and then move it back to the hold position to maintain that acceleration. Okay. So hold you to feel run down position. We are picking up speeds. Oh, okay. Is a method used to efficiently maintain speed and reduce motor stress. That's interesting. Move the throttle to the backward position to slow the engine until it idles, and then... So we can... Keeping to speed limits is important. If you begin overspeeding, apply a small amount of brake by moving the driver's brake valve into the braking range. It's going to take me a little while to get used to that throttle, because it is a bit... I don't know, it's just... So that's... Right, feel run down. Hold, apply, release, decrease, and then we can use the brake. So that is interesting, okay. Right, so we'll hold it at 20 for now. So you can see our position. And when we're ready, apply some braking, slow it down. Oh, and of course it'll be air. Brakes won't set. I mean, for a lucky bit, man, it's even got the, uh, the what's it called you see on steam trains. This is uh, an interesting loco this, I must say. This is going to be a lot of fun to uh, learn the basics of. Right, nice and slowly, we'll crawl into the uh, stop position, turn around, couple up, and then see where the uh, mission takes us afterwards. Nope, not emergency. <laughs> the wagons are behind us. So change directions with the reverser, and then contact the dispatcher to get permission to access the track they are in. Alright, so, contact signal up. We are clear to proceed. So train in reverse. This yard is centrally controlled, so we don't need to manually operate any junctions. Signal's white. Yep, yeah, we can release the brakes. So train in reverse. So increase speed up to about, well, just say limited speed there, so we'll hard throttle on the idle. Coast about 30 kilometers an hour. And then make contact with the uh, train just behind us. How is they? So far so good. So leave the train in lap. A little bit of braking, lap. Continue to slow down as the brakes are still being held in position. Let's release the brake valves. Okay, so they're not too dissimilar to what we use at the uh, Lido Rail with our eye volunteer on. It's just a case of kind of getting it, kind of learn the basics of how much power you use to uh, slow down, speed up, so forth, so forth. So, get ready to the stopping position. Hold on, lap. Beside that, a little bit off, but more than acceptable. Couple the wagons to the locomotive by selecting the coupler. You can either do this by getting out of the loco or using the external camera. We'll, uh, we'll do the full process today. So, ah, perfect. Okay, <laughs> that did it. <laughs> now you are coupled. Bring these wagons over to the second set to form a train. Right. So back into the cab. Climb up the steps. Welcome train fan, how are you doing? Welcome everyone in chat, how are you all doing today? So, train in forwards. Brakes, we release. Throttle up. Now we are carrying a train set at this point, carrying several, was it five? Five drum wagons, so full power increased speed and see how the uh, braking physics differ as well at the high speeds with Trains Mod 2 you have got proper traction simulation built in so in terms of acceleration slow down things are a little bit different to how they operate before but either way it should be uh, it should be interesting nonetheless up to 
to 22 kilometers an hour. Slowly increasing speed still. Let's top location again, just outside the uh, yards before we start reversing to the next, set, uh, next train set again. Passenger train set just to our left, the BR 186, at the back of a double sock wagon set. We'll put the throttle back to idle. As you see, the train's already slowing down now because of the weight that's set holding its part. If I were to hold you into the hold position, I believe it should then car and coast it. If not, slower release of speed. Okay, a little bit short there. Increase a bit more power range, get the train moving. There we go. That should do. Oh yes, and we'll slip, of course. <laughs> Request permission from the dispatcher to enter the siding containing the wagons, and then proceed when you get the white lights. So request this. There's the white lights. Back in the cab, stick you in reverse, release the brakes. And then, like before, let's uh, bring the train back to the yard. Uh, what I have a face cam because I reworked my webcam. It's no longer as CPU heavy, so it should be a lot more a lot more free to run on these sims, especially flight sim. The train sim was not too bad, but flight sim was a bit heavy. But if you don't want my face, I can always get rid of it. Alright, so brakes are released, train is in reverse, but uh, what we're doing there is slipping the wheels, so let's try something a bit different, shall we? Uh, let's find that's fine, that's fine, reverser is in, again, such an awkward reverser, that's, the train's in reverse, brakes released, brakes released. Whoops. Mouse ever so temperament. Alright, so brakes are released. Put a little bit of throttle in, slow reverse. Got a freight train there now leaving the yards, also in rail on livery. There we go. Slow but steady movements. Got there in the end. Getting max speed about 20 miles, sorry, 20 kilometers an hour with the uh, full sets, which isn't the fastest, but enough to get train moving. About 400 meters or so, half a kilometer from the uh, set we're coupling to now. So a couple up, and then presumably that'll be the end of our mission. Enough of that. We release this to the main world, we'll get through a few scenarios, and presumably the scenarios in this train are going to be all shunting ones rather than any like full mainline runs, because trust me, as much as I like this route, doing it all in 20 km hour to top speed, so will be a little bit on the slow side. Did the uh, so the still moving there, so the wheels are at zero. That was just a classic sign of uh, wheel slippage. We'll move the camera to the back of the train. That should make us a little bit, a little bit easier to manage the uh, positioning of the train there. My little throttle, much a little bit of power, and just keep the train at a steady speed of about five to ten kilometers an hour, roundabout. And then, couple together. There we go, that seems to be alright. The benefit of Hagen Yard is that it's a straight level piece of track, and therefore, in regards to. Hang on, what have we done there? In regards to. Coasting, 
Should be a little bit easier than on some locations. A little bit closer. There we go. And release. Break sets. And hopefully. Oh, perfect. Nice work. Now uncouple from the train and return the locomotive to its initial location. Cool, Leo. So jump down, decouple the sets. We can probably get away with raising the uh, Buckeye again. If not, we can just uh, squeeze up top there. Or maybe not. Okay. In that case, let's jump in the cab and let's get going. What's this? This is also new. Although, unfortunately, kind of interactive with shame. Okay, so, jump into the front controls. Let's get going. Train in forwards. Brakes to release. Out to the stop location. Quest back to the starting location. And that's that. Any single whistle to say? No, your tone. Because there's still pressure on the brakes in the I mean, there should be brake pressure. If there's no brake pressure, in this case, 6.3, uh, 6.3 atmospheres. If it's, any, if it's zero, that means the brakes are in locked position. You're on the brakes with pressure to keep the train unlocked. So, 6.5 atmospheres. We'll slow the train down now. Apply pressure. Whoops. Sliding along there. <laughs> Come on. Oh gosh, we really are sliding. Come on. That's better. Again, one of the uh, features of Transform World 2, which the original Transform World didn't have, was the uh, proper wall slip simulation there. And so in that case, well, the train was. Uh, we saw there was a slip and slide. The brakes were in locked position. The train was. Uh, not rotating the wheels, but uh, still, getting some movement out of it. The more you drive the trains, the more you kind of get used to the physics, and this is certainly a bit, a bit different to usual, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, you're looking at the, uh, hang on. I'm just looking at the different dials. Uh, da -da. Red dial, not black style. Ah, okay. Fair enough. <laughs> so, still learning the basics. Alright, that's it going. Let's uh, put some speed on. Oops, got that signal up before I forget. Welcome, Hans. Welcome, Tyler. How are you both doing? Welcome, Shell. Welcome to the chats. Pressure him. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Release that. <sighs> come on, Jory. It's not too difficult, although the buffer's there. <laughs> they unfortunately stop us. I realize it's a bit short there, that with the uh, running out of track there. Right, release the brakes. This time slowly. I'm going to cause an accident this train. I can already. Uh, you can see it in the stars, you know when you're gonna create a problem for yourself. It's just a slip and slide, yes. <laughs> right, come on, nice and slowly. Nice and slowly. Try not to hit any more buffers, try anything else. There we go. Good work. That concludes all of the basics of operating this train. And just like that, I've managed to somehow pass the uh, driver training of this thing. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure in reality there'd be a few more, few more runs before the uh, train. Well, before I get passed out driving this train, especially with my braking there. But nope, in the world of train sim, if you made it, you made it. So let's uh, jump back in, head to the menu, and then as always, we'll see if we do the scenarios or not for this one. But we'll definitely be doing a few, uh, well, timetabled runs. But in fact, I can't imagine there are too many timetable runs to this train. But uh, 
Let's have a look, see what we've got. 363. Selects you. And uh, yeah, so it's all shunting trains and building trains for this one. So uh, yeah, let's have a look. Repair and form passenger train, repair and form extend passenger train. So we have passenger trains, cement trains, steel trains, and log wagons. Yeah, we're gonna do a passenger train, of course. Go for the uh, the fun stuff first. Yes, leaves on the track. So it's the leaves. It's not driver operation there. If you leave on the track, you know you're gonna slip and slide. Especially from a London Underground Piccadilly Line train. Those things slip so like crazy. Right, swap out one of the passenger coaches so it can be used on the train if needed. So, first things first, capital formation. This set just behind us. Presume all the points will be set. No, they're not. Okay. Alright, we'll do that on the map, shall we? So, you go straight, you turn, and then couple to you. That's all set. Let's jump back out the menu and let's get the train going. So, brakes release. It's worth pointing out that when you release the air, uh, or you can release the brakes, but if you hold it back to the driving position, it does apply a little bit of pressure back into the uh, system there. Hang on, I've probably missed out a step, haven't I? Uh, so this set uh, on, so it starts on. That's fine, right? Try now. Let's have a look to engine start, fuel pumps on, power on. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Handbrake is released. Release you. Release you. That's better. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Cool. I'm sure I'm doing something wrong. Very, very obvious. So, the fuel pump is in the on position. That's fine. Power is on. That's fine. Master key, of course. <laughs> right. Let's get going. Uh, reset drop as well, so it's not going to. Uh... There we go. Got there in the end. <laughs> right, so couple to formation, set the train up, and then let's see how we're going to put it early for passenger service later on. We'll pilot about 15 kilometers, which is fine. Need to break into the release position just to avoid any extra. Uh... Any extra. What's it called? Any extra pressure in the valves, keep train released. That should do it. And I'm going to drop the coupler and slowly couple the sets. go. So uncouple these two sets. And drive into this formation or observe position just ahead of us. So release. And forwards. Yes, nice and slowly as always Niels. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Slowly steady wins the race. I say, it's quite an interesting little logo, this. So it has a bit of style. I do like the little rack at the bottom of the wheels there that do sink as the train moves forward. That is, uh, well, it's not something you see too often these days on the like, units. Right, half position. 
the top location as indicated. So we're now taking you backwards again onto this line. So to points, set, set, hang on. Is that not the same track? Uh, no, so you need to set back to the forward position and then continue the rest of the way. Okay, perfect. So, train reverse, brakes released, throttle up. Yeah, so train simulator 2012. Well, Train Sim 2020 is the original Railworks 2, but uh, it gets it gets yearly like engine upgrades and new systems at the back end, and then new routes, content, and packs as well that come on top of it. So you get like the base game upgrades with the new sim or the new content layered on top. I mean, so this is a way of doing things. It means it gets to keep your old sim as a current sim, while having the routes like an optional extra. So if you want to drive, say in this case it's Scott Rail. Couple international routes and for the premium blitz edition you get the West Coast Main Line. If you want that, you can pay for the upgrade. If you're happy with your current routes but want the latest sim, then you get that for free anyway, so yeah, it's a way of doing things. It means you don't lose completely everything. You have to buy a new sim every single year. Just buy the routes you want and the content that you specifically want for your sim. Because people call it DLC, people call it, well, it is DLC, it is downloadable content, but it's not DLC that you're required to have, it's just downloadable content that you can have to, uh, well, to drive what you want to drive. It's not a requirement, it's not by any means. Right, so we're going to uncouple this formation now. And then the top location is indicated, should be again front of the yard, and then presumably reverse you back in to a set rail. Yes, cool. So, release brakes, stick you in forwards, and let's get going. Is it legal to push a consist without a spotter? I don't think so. I don't think so. You are required to have someone out to uh, keep control, keep watch of whatever you're doing out here. Although, then again, in Germany, things could be different. In the UK, certainly, you are required to have a spotter, along with a shunter. A little bit breaking on, not too much. Just keep the airplane slowing slightly. Whoops, again, you can see the wheel slippage there, but. Whoops, there we go, we have lost it. <laughs> we're getting there, we're getting there. Train in reverse, why are we sticking you now? You are going here. We'll reset you back into the main line. And then we're going to reverse train back into the formation. So, brakes released. And train in reverse. And since we're coupling formation, again, nice and slowly, that's not damage any of the uh, units we're moving around. I've been on one of these uh, cars recently. It was like three weeks ago I went to Berlin. I read it short distance from Berlin Central Station to one of the uh, stations within the city of Berlin itself, but uh, I sat upstairs in the upper deck and, well let me tell you, they are very awesome looking trains, the uh, Dobstock Wagen 7767s. Went to Berlin a couple of weeks ago for, uh, well, the main reason that trip was to go visit Berlin Tegel before it closes, which it closes tomorrow, is it? Gee, I've really got to plan out a few of these streams and something. Um, we'll see, but yeah. Rode there yesterday. Well, not yesterday, so I rode there a couple of weeks ago. Rode the ICE 3 from uh, Spandau to... Sorry, Spandau to Berlin Central Station. Rode one of these from Central Station to... Again, I can't quite remember the name of the station, but it was within Berlin. Which overall, had a, a really good time out there. Right, so stop a location as indicated again. Back out. Train in forward. Release the brakes. 
and train in forward. Just have the stream itself a bit more easy to see. Perfect. Yeah, hopefully the lighting for the face cams are working out as well. It's a very basic setup we've got going on right now. You can see it's not really a green screen I've got. I'm using uh, XSplit's V cam, but it seems to be holding up all right at the moment. It's the webcam. At least much better than it did with Chroma cam. Chroma cam, although a good tool, was a bit was a bit temperamental with its cutting and also its uh, CPU usage. This is much much better to find. Move that wiper out of the way also. That's better. So cups formation to units. So we're gonna switch you now, reset you back to mainline. And couple you to you two there. Perfect. So train in reverse. Release the brakes. And let's get going. Welcome Artif, how are you doing? Welcome to the channel, welcome to the chats. Uh, this one you're taking the carts off. A bit more than just taking the carts off. Moving two carriages around as well as putting together a new formation of the uh, Dobslock Vargans. So they're breaking in, slow train down a bit. Man, it's breaking you've got to be very exact with because it will just uh, slip and slide. How'd you get a game? It's available on well, it's available on both Steam, PC and Xbox and PlayStation, so it's available on Steam, available I think it's also available on the Microsoft Store as well, so also on Dovetail's website <laughs> and you got on Disc as well. So it's everywhere. If you can find it virtually everywhere, Train Sim World, it's, uh, it's a good enough platform. I get a lot of fun playing it. My side, some of these units, some of these locos are very nice to put together. Right, so, a little bit of braking. Perfect. Couple you together, and finally, uncouple four, four vehicles. There we go. Stop location is indicated, so once again, back out, and then stick you in a siding somewhere. So, without the four set now, we've got a little more freedom as to how our braking and throttles work. No worries, Tyler, you take care. Uh, really looking forward to the BR101. Oh yes, absolutely. And likewise the entire uh, Arosa line as well. Arosa line I'm very excited for. It should be, well, if all goes to plan, if River Games can pull it off, definitely the uh, prettiest of all the train sim world routes, that's for sure, going through the uh, Swiss Alps. I've got high hopes for the sim. Ever since Dovetail have introduced the third party market, it's uh, certainly seen a lot of improvements, that's for sure. Ah, slipping again. <laughs> oh, these train drivers operate this thing, it's a slip and slide. Alright, seek in reverse, because we are going to uh, completely miss stop location. There we go. Just about. <laughs> Only 60 metres missed. Alright, release the brakes again. Nice and slowly. Try not to overshoot this time, draw up. You know you're better than this. <laughs> right. Whoops. Nice and slowly. Nice and slowly. Uh, 
and stop. Back into the menu, and let's see what other service we've got ahead of us. Again, so far so good. It seems like a well, it's definitely a fun little train to drive. It takes a lot of concentration in regards to uh, braking and all that. So try not to try not to slip inside too much of this next scenario. Let's go to timetable three six three, and let us now do a let's do a cement train. Why not? That's like a little bit more distance to it as well. So now we're going to put together a cement train. Let's see how this will go. So collect five uh, wagons and add to the outgoing cement train before stabling your locomotive up. Thank you very much. So there they are. Now on the siding. Checkpoints are set for main line. So not you, sorry, we'll change you. Perfect. Right, training forwards. Well, not yet. Right, must keep on. Set changeover pressed, train in forwards, and brakes released. Increase throttle, let's get going. I don't know, it just works. <laughs> Most British voice, of course. Can you look, really? I mean, I'm 21. How did you think I was? Uh, didn't rise to set points up. Yes, yeah, so you can either set the points manually by moving the lever, or you can use the map and just click on the uh, points, and that will change them for you. So, we need to stop now just in the siding up ahead. And preferably before the buffer, not after it. But knowing my luck, we'll probably just use the buffer as well and uh, crash into it to stop. Right, but a little bit breaking in, slow things down slowly. That'll do it. Right, so we now need to stop as indicated. Oh wow, okay, I actually got, got a bit of distance. So we will set you now to the main line. Check all the points, check all that, that's all fine. You go straight, 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 straight through the station onto the actual running line, okay. Cool. Points all set. Brakes released. Oops, again, trying to go too fast either. We don't have speed limits to follow. Right, up we go. Oops, again, I'm just speed limit there, draw up. Try not to go too fast. I'm not gonna say, for a small local like this, I'm quite surprised at can pick up speed and quite quickly as well. It's a nimble little thing, this. So about a kilometre to go now until we need to stop at location. Also, before I forget, let's uh, have some of the lights on this train as well. I haven't actually touched these yet. So engine rooms, you've got front and centre lights. And you've got your fronts left and right. And presumably, these will be the rear lights. So, left and right sets. For both, since you are trying to both backwards and forwards, which is my life a bit easier. Could do centre lights wherever you wanted to, but it comes down to different times of day. What formation you'll be using. So, if I were to head to the external now, 
There you go, see so you've got two lights there active, one on the nose, and the same three on the other side, one on the nose, one left on right. Stop before the buffers again. We can slip and slide on buffers. And just about. <laughs> you know it's sad when you actually have to use the buffers as a way to stop on this thing. Alright, set the track up, tracks automatic out here, which is fine. So we're going to request permission to travel. Thank you very much. Training forward, release the brakes. And let's get going. Right, give a second, so apply the braking. Fill it all up and then release. There we go, that's better. So the bar's setting up, that's fine. The brake control is currently at max 5.3, so release you. Release you. Ah, there we go, perfect. So hold that. Brake controls now slowly dropping pressure. There we go, perfect. So we'll cup up to the uh, five cement wagons now in front of us. Then we're going to bring out to where we start off again, couple up to the other cement wagons that were on the siding we just passed. And then set the train up for a journey down to elsewhere in Germany. With Hagen being rather central in the country, it does form quite a nice little. Well, it forms a nice area to kind of uh, distribute stuff basically anywhere in Germany. We've got the routes like Leipzig, which is quite north of the country. We've also got places like uh, Munich down south. Hagen, very central, and therefore very easy to get stuff across. Release the coupler and slowly couple train together. Perfect. Stop location. In this case, we need to travel to. Where is actually? Ah, okay, so we're travelling a. Well, a fair bit of line, aren't we? So, points I presume are set automatically, which they are. Train in reverse. Contacts the signal up. Wait for change. So, presumably, then we're waiting for the train to pass us. And then we'll get permission to go. So, who else on this line? Who else is uh, blocking us from travelling? Because we are travelling on the main line now. And therefore, we do need to uh, work around that. Hold the brake pressure. And now we wait. Does that tell us? Stop to the case with the gate formation. Couple, uncouple, stop, stop, and stop. Perfect. So, yeah, there's not too much ahead of us. We're really just a case of seeing where these other trains are because we need to put into the work siding here. I don't see any. Ah, there we go. That's moving. So, that train there is the reason why we can't travel just yet. 
but hopefully it won't take us too long now until the train's allowed to move. Second, as I look into my webcam, might slow down a bit. As always, still learn the basics with these kinds of tools, and so hopefully, with a bit of adjustment, you kind of get everything working a bit smoother. Well, that's fine. Uh, of course, we need to slow down then. Go to settings. We try and force 30 FPS then, see if that works. Yeah, it's kind of better. Perfect. So, I say now waiting. Welcome, uh, sports goons. Welcome, Casey. How are you both doing? We're waiting for this set to pass by, and then we get permission to travel ourselves. Do you need to remember that as a freight train, we basically have less priority on the line than compared to a passenger train, as passenger trains are the ones doing the main running services. So that's why we've got to hold position now. You're going to stop at that signal, which is fine. So who's blocking us then? Because yeah, we're on the siding with a buffer, so we can't exactly go the other way around. Uh, that's yes. Uh, yeah, 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 that's fine. You're reds. Screen running line the entirety of this. You've got you coming towards us, but again, probably not the reason we're waiting. There's a small formation travelling to this station as well. We'll be stopping. So you're coming. We're waiting. You're. Actually, you've been cleared now, haven't you? Okay. So there is a fair bit of moving going on in that case. While we wait, let's uh, have a moment to kind of leave the train. And just uh, look around a bit, I guess. I'd say it's nice little look over this, the uh, 363. Very nicely put together too as well. I mean, I know that Rivet Games did a two six four or something like that. Can't quite remember what the uh, classification was for the uh, Rivet Games logo, but it's whew. <laughs> it's two. Was this a set similar to this? Was a diesel electric shunter? I'm so glad I heard that because that came very very close to our standing. So I'm going to cross the rail there because I forget, we're in Germany now, trains drop, travel on the uh, opposite rail, that's what we used to be before, so now you're clear, we should get permission to go, but uh, I'm so glad I had the train rather than uh, get squished by it, although the driver should have uh, used his warning horn the moment he uh, spotted me there, so not entirely my fault. Alright, so yeah, I'm waiting for signals to change. Are we really being held back by you as well? There are probably a few reasons why I'm being held back, because again, you're now moving. And you're on the track we're on. Okay, so that's that. So you're now going to be moving out of our way. As soon as you're clear, we'll have permission to enter into this uh, line that we're taking, the blue line. And then we're going, okay, so... Like I say, it's all the plan and games with freight train. It's half time, you're just sitting here waiting for your, uh, your permission to be granted. Alright, there comes a the passenger train. <coughs> and the next train, we may be able to spot in the distance. It's about there. It's a freight train that we're now waiting for. Get yourself a bit more comfy. Yeah, if I knew German, I'd understand this. So I can tell. So it's ace 2000 litres in there. 
Weighs 17 tons, 17.740 kilos. Um, length is 15.11 meters. And that's about it, really, in terms of what I can understand. Oh, yes, yeah, so and no climbing due to, uh, well, electrical cables overhead. I'm sure you don't really want to be uh, standing on any of those. Right, so here comes the freight train now. As soon as you pass, we turn green. The question is, when will you pass? Taking your uh, sweet old time there. There we go. Alright, so. Brakes released. Throstle up. Let's uh, get some movement going. Yeah, face cam is lagging a little bit. I'm going to try and work on it. Try and uh, speed things up a little bit. Train. We are moving. It's just the slowest move we've ever seen. It doesn't have that we're starting on a downhill stretch of track, and therefore. I'll try it again, shall we? So that brake valve seems to be stuck right now. Brake valve 5 point inside that should be released. Fire pressure. Let's see if we're trying to reset it. Sand if we need it. Right, come on, shot again, shall we? What's holding us back? Um, let's see, so that's fine. Oh, we're in the wrong gear. <laughs> that would help, certainly. <laughs> Our gear was set for long distance travel. We're not, we're a shunter. There we go, proceed at Richard's speed, let's carry on again. This is for power, travelling two and a half kilometres at grand speed of 200, uh, well, 10 kilometres an hour, so we could see this for about 10-20 uh, minutes as uh, travel time. Oops, yeah, it's not looking as good. Try different presets, but the problem with different presets is that while it may speed up the camera, the background is not quite as uh, quite as well done. Try putting some more light in.
Love when you get fan calls and streams. <laughs> back <laughs> I say love getting phone calls in the streams always uh, fun things to sort out right let's carry on we're about a kilometer down the line now yeah I need to ask cameras uh, frame rate don't I it's horrible the problem is it's not an issue with the camera so much it's more down to the rendering of the green screen behind me it seems to be quite the well it's either super GPU heavy or super CPU heavy and after a while it kind of forgets that the camera is doing something and slows down. If I interact with menus a bit faster, if I then stop interacting with it, give it a few seconds and it just starts to uh, starts to die down again. There we go. Oops, what's happened there? Why is the engine uh, cut back power? Whoops, ooh, that's different. What's going on there? How do you just stop using power? But the wheels, they've, uh, hang on. At least you, right, trains are hold now. The power, the RPM is still apparently up. What have we done there? My train in reverse, start powering power again slowly. Have we broken it? <laughs> Have we broken it? Um, hmm. No, we're kind of going again. It just takes a bit of a a bit of a push to get the train going every few minutes. It's uh, well, 1950s bill. What do you expect? I guess. So, nice and slowly, just under one km to go now, until we need to stop the train. Then we disconnect, bring train elsewhere, so we're not done yet with this scenario, so we've got a little bit more move to go in terms of movement. But uh, already this one's going to cause a bit, of, uh, a bit of devastation on us.
I have tried, um, what's it called, NVIDIA, the one the NVIDIA experience, Shadow Play is it called, I have tried Shadow Play, it works well, the problem is, you can't get all your overlays with it, and it's, while it's good in terms of low backgrounds process usage, it's customizability very limited, so the benefit of using something like OBS, while it's very CPU heavy and GPU heavy, you do get a lot more customization in terms of like overlays, backgrounds, that kind of stuff. So while I can kind of work with the overlays when I get to run a bit more smoother, the problem is I know it's a losing battle, and OBS, well, with, um, what's it called? Uh, with Chroma Cam with Personify, it was good and it worked, but it's very GPU heavy and therefore causes games to lag out. With this, it's less heavy on your system, but uh, not very good in terms of keeping the camera stable. Even with the always 30 FPS setting, it's a bit, a bit naff. Like I said, it's always time for me to research and get everything a bit more built up, but uh, it's the frame rate that's my killer right now. Alright, so in a couple of moments, get ready to stop uh, NVIDIA Broadcasting. Oh, um, no I haven't actually, let me look into that, video broadcast, webcam, I mean, whoops, what's that, is that me, it's probably me, with the NVIDIA broadcast, does it let me use the webcam in third party programs, or is it built specifically for? the uh, broadcaster itself. Oh, and the requirements requires a 2060 or up, so unfortunately I don't need to have the requirements to this thing. Uh, now the app, set the broadcasts... Yeah, so broadcast built into shadow play, but uh... uh, uh let's have a look. I'll have a look at it. I'll have a look at it. Yeah, from the looks of things, actually. We'll see. Oops. A little bit breaking in, scary slow train down. That'll do. Stop location. So now bring it out of the siding. Well, out of the siding and onto the freight lines. So we'll uh, request signal again. Procedure restricted. So you can do an OBS overlay with it. Okay. Oh, I'll, have to look I'll look into that then. Definitely worth a shout that. Cheers for that, sir. Uh, high part and Voltra. Right, so release the brakes. Increase the throttle. Let's get ourselves going, shall we? I mean, somewhere there is a break in the line. You can see we've got a break. Still got brake control of uh, three, three atmospheres somewhere. And so one of these carriages looks like they. Uh, oh, it's still got brake pressure coming in somewhere. Problem is, don't know where exactly. And so we still operate, but just at a slower pace than uh, we should be using.
Oh yeah, I'm looking into this one of the... Uh, well, I've got a 38 on all the graphics cards. And uh, I'll probably look at one of the uh, AMD 4000 series CPUs as soon as they come out later this year. Yeah, this webcam is painful. Alright, so... Release the brakes. Apply the power up. In fact, the brakes haven't released, despite the fact I've told them to release. Something is with this sloker right now. Let's uh, figure out if there's any way I can try and dump some of this pressure. Handle off, that's fine. Direct brake hot, that's fine. So this is a deactivated cab, that's fine. Somewhere. This train's got brake pressure, it shouldn't. Right, that's released, that's fine. The train brake just won't release this pressure. Welcome, Pope Fan, how are you doing? Welcome to the channel, welcome to the chats. Right, next stop for us, if this thing ever stops. Hang on, the pressure that, sorry, throttle out for help. Right, uh, cops formation, 15 cars. You are in the side, and that's fine. Tracks already set, automatic, that's fine. Train reverse, brakes release, please. In fact, when I release the release valve and put it back into driving, it also builds up pressure somewhere in the line. Which again, not something these trains should be doing. If this was me driving this train, what I'd do is I'd call up the uh I'd call up company and be like, yeah, sorry, this train's got brake failure, I can't drive this thing. Because this shouldn't be holding brake pressure. Oops. Ah, sorry, we're facing four now, aren't we? Hang on, brake pressure set, build up, slow down. Right, forward, now we can travel. There we go. So we're coupling up, this hit train, and then, ah, we spotted, have we? Whoops! <laughs> of course we spotted. I'm sure I pressed the signal then, unless that was when I, even when I put the train in the wrong direction, I'm sure I might have mucked something up there. But, uh, well, last checkpoint, hopefully that will just put us back to where we uh, stopped last time. We'll then do what we did before, carry on. I like the, uh, Regime for checkpoint, it's made life so much easier since Dovetail uh, introduced that. Right, so, cuts formation, 15 vehicles, train in forward, brakes release. See, now the brake control, mm, actually, it's about the same still. This time, contact signal up. And now, let's get going. There we go. And once again, just contact signal up just to uh, boss home the facts that we have, uh, well, contacted them. Right, 
so carry on confirmation sits taste this couple is within next signal so a bit of distance between us that's fine carry on reversing and then we'll there probably make this our last night for today we'll definitely do a few more runs in the uh, 363 I go Ooh, a bit of rocking there We'll really will spin that. It stopped. Looks like it. That's a bit of an overload of pressure there. With a bit of overload of power. With no real business to move the weight of the cars. Okay, 10 kilometers an hour. Not going to too fast, and therefore, coupling up should be nice and simple. But, again, you never know what trains will do to us, what curves will throw at us. So far, seems to be alright. Seems to be alright. Welcome Jurassic King, how are you doing? Welcome to the chats. Cups formation, move our set out of the way, and then see where it takes us. And then, uh, well, we're going to shop after this, we're going to have to in tonight. So, uh, like I say, premise our last service, and then bring things to an end for now. And if I do a flight to the stream later, so do tune around for that if you're interested. Ah, derailed. Well, <laughs> that pretty much sums up. I oh, know, it's a fun little train in 363. It needs a. For me, a bit more practice, I think. It's a fun train to drive. You need to learn the throttles and the braking, and that's definitely something you need to work on timing. But, uh... I don't know. It's a fun train, this 363. It's a fun train. Just me, who needs to learn a bit more how to use it. I'm sure. A bit more practice, I could get a bit more of a... a bit more run out of it. I don't know. At some point in the future, I might do a stream where we revisit the, uh, Rurus Ignored. But, um... Yes, until then, well, I hope you guys enjoyed the stream today. Again, thank you guys in the chat as well for giving me some suggestions about this camera. So if we're trying the... I don't know, the minimum spec for the broadcast seems to be below... Well, I seem to be below it, but I'll give it a go regardless, see what happens. We'll see. Try and narrow these webcam stuff. So, uh, yeah, thank you all very much for watching. Like I said, I'm going to do a flight and stream today, so do tune in later for that. So right, thank you for watching. You take care of yourselves, and I shall see you again later. Take care, and goodbye.